Hello and welcome to Mnemonic Flies DCS. Today we will talk about how to enable your MetaQuest tree hand tracking in DCS. First of all, we would need to enable custom settings under development menu inside of your quest tree. So I, I don't know if all these checkboxes has to be clicked, but certainly it works for me if I enable all of them. Now jump to your desktop and inside of the Meta Home app, go to the settings. In the settings under the Beta tab, um, enable developer runtime features. So the runtime features are super important in order to transfer the hand tracking data into OpenXR. Next, we need to make our custom shortcut for DCS. So first of all, um, we will run the DCS in multi-threaded mode, okay? So run it from the bin MT folder and then enable, force enable VR and force enable OpenXR. I will keep these target parameters in the uh, descri video description below. So yeah, I mean, this has to be started in bin MT folder of DCS in order to enable multi-threading. So for those who are not familiar where to find it, uh, just go to your DCS installation folder. And um, yeah, I have an open beta, but I mean, now it's united together. And then you will see here a folder called bin MT, okay? So inside of the BM, bin MT folder, you will find dcs.exe, and this is the shortcut you wanna create. This shortcut should be enough to launch your DCS. However, currently the link version 63 seems to be broken with DCS and DCS crashes. So in order to bypass that, we will launch it with virtual desktop app, which is a separate app on Quest3. Um, I'm not gonna explain all the details of it, but I will show you how to launch it, how to launch your DCS with the hand tracking from it. Go to the streaming options menu in your virtual desktop and make sure that forward tracking data to the PC is enabled. This will send the hand tracking data to your PC via OpenXR. In order to launch your custom created uh, shortcut from virtual desktop, uh, just right click on the virtual desktop icon from the menu bar and select launch game, okay? Here you can point the virtual desktop to a shortcut that you created. Once in DCS, you see, I already have my hands enabled, but once in DCS, you will have to go to the settings, VR tab, and then use hand controllers trackers, okay? Not controllers, not disabled, select trackers here, all right? Additionally, set no pointers into use pointer and touch. This should be enough. Well, of course, for this, you have to enable your virtual reality headset. So now we should have our hands in DCS. How cool is that? Ah, by the way, hi Maverick. How's it doing? All good? Perfect. So now we should be able to launch into our mission and check how it works. Once in the mission, the hand tracking should be enabled. Um, now we should be able to interact with the menus, uh, with, uh, sorry, with the cockpit, click the buttons. What I figured that the buttons work fine, the switches work a little bit worse, and um, probably the dials are the worst to set up with using hand tracking. However, I mean, with cockpit such as FA-18 Hornet, um, the hand tracking feature is super handy. 
um, in order to just interface with the UFC or MFDs, it works perfectly fine. Um, now, the hand tracking feature is not fully supported in all the DCS modules from what I have checked. It seems to be working at the moment only on EDs modules, all right? So I was checking it in F18 Hornet, in Apache, that works. I would presume it will work also in F16, but we have to check that. But it doesn't work in, for example, Rasbam's F15E, which is unfortunate. Uh, it would be super useful to, to be able to click the UFC there. Another handy tip to use with DCS is to be able to enable and disable your hands on demand, okay? So for this, you have to bind to, to additional bindings. Adjust, go to adjust controls. Here, go to the UI uh, layer menu, okay? And inside of the UI layer menu, look for the options. We are left hand and right hand enable and disable. These are kind of toggle buttons, okay? I, I map them into my joystick so I can easily enable and disable hands. So when the hands are disabled, you can use mouse as, as expected. Basically, so for all the controls that are difficult to reach with the hand, you can still use mouse. And then whenever you want it, you just enable your hands and, and just click around with, with the hands. So I use both of these options. Additionally, I also mapped um, the body toggle. So then I can enable and disable pilot body. Um, yeah, that seems to be working fine for me. All right, so now we should be able to use our hands in DCS. Uh, if you have any more questions or suggestions, please feel free into the comment section below. Ciao, ciao.